Crohn's disease is an inflammatory bowel disease that causes damage to the digestive system. That means that the nutrients of what you eat don't get in your body through diffusion. The difference between Crohn's disease and inflammatory bowel disease is that IBD is an umbrella term and Crohn's falls under it. For example, IBD is just a vegetable and Crohn's disease is broccoli. Crohn's disease can affect any part of the digestive system, all the way from the mouth to the anus. It most commonly occurs in the last areas of the digestive system, which include the ileum and the colon. Crohn's disease is much more likely in developed countries with cold weather, which is why Canada has the highest rates of Crohn's disease. Yeah, yes! Yay! Yay! It's slightly more common in boys than girls. Aww. And is usually diagnosed between the ages of 15 to 30. Normally, Crohn's disease is really common. In fact, 1 in 160 people have this have this disease, with about 700,000 people infected in America. The people who aren't infected might become late in the near future. I mean, as it is believed, um, th this disease is passed down through generation to generation through genetics. For those who already have it, 70% will require surgery, as it is the easiest course of action when fighting the disease. When the disease is active, signs and symptoms may include diarrhea, fever, vomiting, extreme tiredness, stomach cramping and pain, blood when you go to the washroom, reduced appetite and weight loss, inflammation of the skin, eyes and the liver, and delayed growth in children. Nobody knows exactly why it happens. The most important risk factor is genetics. Genes carry the information that determines your traits that are passed down to you by your parents. Research has identified more than 200 different genes that are more common in people with Crohn's disease than without. The second most important risk factor is smoking. Smokers are twice as likely to develop the condition as non-smokers. Cigarette smoke damages the mucus lining of your digestive tract. Another factor is immune system problems. The immune system drop is to defend people from germs every day. It's meant to keep you healthy. But for people with Crohn's disease, instead of defending your body from bad bacteria, it's defending your body from healthy bacteria that aid digestion. The immune system's response it causes inflammation. Environmental factors is also a risk factor, as Crohn's disease is also known as disease of the rich, with the most recorded cases happening in developed countries such as the US or the UK. Crohn's disease also causes many other health problems in the body. For example, intestinal stricture. The inflammation of the bowel, the intestines, can cause scar tissue to form, leading to the affected areas becoming more narrow. Nutrient deficiencies can also have a big effect on the body. The small intestine is where critical nutrient absorption takes place, but it doesn't digest and absorb nutrients very well. This can result in various problems, including malabsorption of important vitamins and minerals. The effect Crohn's disease has on other organ systems can cause additional symptoms, which include malnutrition, leading to weight loss, lack of red blood cells, skin rashes, mouth ulcers, and vision problems. One way we can find indicators of Crohn's disease is by doing a simple blood test. And from there, a doctors will usually find a lack of vitamins or minerals should the disease be active. Other doctors use a standard x-ray, which shows the inside of the human body. From there, we can determine whether the small intestines are swelled up, inflamed, or scarred. No one really knows how to cure Crohn's disease, but there are some ways that can help reduce the symptoms. It is recommended that you eat six small meals a day instead of three large ones, as it will help put a less of a strain on your digestive system and in return reduce inflammation. Another treatment that is also recommended is to cut out all foods that will increase your symptoms. Um, smoking increases the power of the symptom as well. So, little tip, do not smoke! Lastly, special liquid diets could help put less of a strain on your digestive system. The two types of liquid diets we usually recommend are elemental and polymeric. Elemental being the basic building blocks that are pre-digested, and polymeric being made of only proteins which are not broken down. There are no other treatment options or prevention for Crohn's disease except surgery. The first option is resection, which involves removing the swollen areas of the intestine and stitching the healthy parts back together. The second option is ileostomy, which involves temporarily diverting waste away from the colon by creating a stoma, which is a hole through your abdomen. This is more for patients who have swelling in the colon area.